two, three, funk it. Okay, before we get started on the video, I apologize, but some of the topics I am not too confident on, like electric motors and generators. So if I say something wrong, it's, it might be wrong. So I'm going to put like links to videos in the description, and if you want to go click on those, they are like professionals. I'm just a student who's trying to get by here. So I'm not too confident on those topics, so if you want to watch those videos, go ahead, and I wish you the best of luck the best of luck that's so embarrassing bye hello um welcome to welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm basically going to be going over um just some notes and important um details for the unit so just the whole entire unit squeezed into like two pages of notes so yeah let's get into that okay so here's what i did for today's um review guide so I went through the study guide that was provided by my teacher and I also went over the Kahoot game that um, she also posted. So this is a combination of the Kahoot game, which is the first part. And then the second part is kind of just like some of the Kahoot game and combined with um, the study guide. So like I just picked the most important stuff off of the study guide and I put it in and I put everything in notes. They're all scattered. They're not like in order of like the units and stuff. So that could get really messy, but here's everything that i wrote down so let's just go through it i'm gonna put my one and two into it and we're just going to yeah okay let's get started okay okay so the reason why a compass would move when a switch is closed so we know that when a switch is closed it means that the circuit is running which means there's electricity flowing through a circuit and so that means there's current in the wire, which would then produce a magnetic field. And a magnetic field would induce a force on the compass, which would then cause the compass needle to move, if that makes any sense. So that's the reason why a compass would move if the switch is closed. Okay, more coils create stronger electromagnets, and I that makes sense. Electromagnets are temporary magnets um, caused by an electric current, and they need electricity and bar magnets to know. Where I was going with that is, they're temporary magnets, they're wrapped around in coils. Um, no, the iron core is wrapped around in coils and connected to a battery or a voltage source with the wire. So if you were to add more coils, um, it would increase the strength of your electromagnet and you can pick up more stuff with it. So more coils makes it stronger. Okay. Um, more details on changing the strength of an electromagnet. If you increase the current, you're going to um, increase your strength. If you add more turns to coils and you wrap your coil around iron. Iron is very magnet. It gets magnetized. Um, I don't know the word, but it's one of the best choice when um, making an electromagnet. So iron does a pretty good job at helping increase the strength of your electromagnet. Okay, next little piece. Okay, so reverse direction of current to reverse pulse in electromagnet. Um, I guess, so if you wanted to reverse the pulse of your electromagnet, so like north and south, you would have to reverse the direction that the current is flowing in. Okay, electrum, some examples of um, how electromagnets are used in everyday lives. Um, maglev train, that's like the electrical train that runs up with electricity. And I think it floats on the tracks and stuff like that. I think those are just like magnets repelling one another, so it looks really cool. Oh my god, the way I am rambling on words is insane. Relax. And electric motors. Okay, now, a generator is... It's known to convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. It's the it's the um it's the machine that has the stator, um the the other stuff. It's more complicated and stuff. It has like the bar magnets on the outside and the little rotating thing on the inside. Yep, and it's all that. And then we know that um your motor is electrical to mechanical energy and it's a simpler machine. That's how I think about it in my head. Generator is more complicated and motor is simpler. Okay, 
So to increase your voltage, you need to use a solenoid with more coils of wire. So I feel like we're seeing a pattern where the more coils you put around your um, iron core or whatever, it always increases something else. So keep that in mind. Um, the reason why Earth has a magnetic field is because iron is in the core of the Earth. And if you think about it, to make an electromagnet, which makes a temporary magnet, you need to wrap your um, wires around an iron or something that can be magnetized. So in a sense, that, that makes sense if you think about it. Now let's move into more stuff that we did like at the very beginning of the semester. This was like day one or like day two. So this is um the magnetic domains and stuff. So you see how this one, there is no correlation. They're all scattered all over the place. Um, it is an um, unmagnetized magnetic domain and it cannot pick up anything or be magnetized. Well, it could be magnetized if it was arranged like this one over here, it's all arranged and it is a magnetized magnetic domain. A domain is a cluster of magnetically aligned atoms. I don't necessarily know what that means, but mm -hmm. domains need to line up in the same direction in order for the material to magnetize and be able to pick up um, paper clips and like metals and stuff like that. Okay, so we already went over that. The strength of an electromagnet is directly related to the amount of current. So if you have more current, you have more strength in your electromagnet and you can pick up more things with it. It's shown in this um, diagram right here with a linear um, graph. So is this one going up, this one's going up. More current, more clips attracted, which means the electromagnet is getting stronger. <sighs> your voltage and number of coils are directly related. If you put more coils around your wire, you increase your voltage. Um, the definition of a magnetic force is a pull or push, push or pull exerted by a magnet. If you think about it, a force is a push or pull, a magnetic exerted by a magnet. You know, see, okay. Aluminum is not a magnetic material. I feel like somebody probably already knew that, but I put it down because I didn't and I actually got it wrong. So like that was important to put down, but aluminum is not a magnetic material. So if you were to wrap it around the, um, if you were to put it in between the um, coils and stuff and you connected it up to make an electromagnet, it probably wouldn't pick up anything because it's not magnetic, I guess. Magnetic field is produced by the motion of electric charge, which is basically the movement of electrons, I think. So that's how you get a magnetic field. Voltage is induced by changing that magnetic field. So you get voltage out of changing that. And now we can move on to the back page. Okay, so we're almost done. So a magnet must be moving in order for your voltage to be detected. I think electromagnetic induction is when you have um the magnet um, producing current this time around. So you need movement, you need conductor, which is a wire, and you need a magnet. It is caused when a magnet is moved next to a wire or vice versa. So you can also move the wire next to the magnet and cause, and cause the voltage. A magnetic field needs to be turned on and off next to the wire, which I think would be like a circuit or something. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. Lines of a magnetic field around current carrying wire. So like a wire that has electricity flowing through it. So the lines of magnets around that is going to form concentric circles around the wire. So basically what shape will be formed around um around a I'm not repeating it. I my brain right now is not having it. But yes, the answer would be concentric circles and okay. Your magnetic field lines go from north to south. It goes from north to south, from north into south, from north into south. Okay. Okay. Electromagnet is, it can be made. This is how an electromagnet is made. You coil your wire around an iron cord and you attach that wire to a battery or a voltage source. The force produced by a current carrying wire, the force produced by a wire that has electricity flowing through it and a magnetic field is greater at 90 degrees. So when it is perpendicular and it does not exist when it's parallel. So at zero degrees and 180. We never really talked about angles. So I don't know too much on that, but it was on the study guide. So I guess it's important. 
Properties used to determine the amount of a magnetic force that will be exerted on a wire include the strength of your magnetic field, the magnitude of current flowing in the wire, so I guess the amount of current flowing, and the length of the wire. Those are all properties that can help you determine the amount of magnetic force that will be exerted on the wire. Okay, the faster the rate of magnet being pushed in the coil, the greater voltage is induced. They're, they have a direct relationship. So the faster the rate, so the faster you move the um, magnet in and out of the wire, um, the more voltage you're going to get. If you did, you can like do like labs online and stuff, and you can actually see that happen. We did labs on it and everything, and I I watched it happen. It's cool. The speed of an electric motor is controlled by varying the voltage throughout the motor. So I guess you can control the speed of your motor by changing the voltage. And last but not least, this is um, in the thingy, the generator. A commutator is used to reverse current to keep motion going in the same direction. And I believe that if you do not have a commutator, you cannot make um, it go it would only um, change positions one time and stop. So like for example, you have like those little fans and stuff that they rotate continuously. If you didn't have a commutator, your fan would go one time and just stop. Your, commuta your commutator is the thing that reverses the current to allow your fan to continuously move in a circle to produce air and stuff like that. And that is it. I hope the video wasn't too messy and all over the place. And I really do hope that it helped. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.